I don't think Lewis knew how loved he was by his readers and his fans. When he was in the hospital at Emory, he received 50,000 cards and letters. In one of his columns, he asked people to pray for him. And busloads of people would come by and sit outside Emory Hospital and pray. If that's a southern accent, my butt's a typewriter, I guarantee you. <laughs> Ain't nobody talk like that. I want to be the first southerner to play a Yankee on television. If they can't do us, I believe we can do them. I've been practicing. <clears throat> Y'all listen to this. I think I'll have a bottle of pop. <laughs> huh? Have a pop. <laughs> See, southern comes from right down here. So come Yankee comes from right here. So right down. <laughs> He could make me mad, break my heart, irritate me, and then have me laughing, you know, all in a matter, and inspire me in just a matter of moments. He said, when I got to thou shalt not commit adultery, I remembered where I left my bicycle. <laughs> yeah. And he asked for his ashes to be scattered on the 50-yard line at Sanford Stadium and to please the family and to please Lewis we we buried half beside his mother in Moreland and the other half we did scatter on the 50 yard line we climbed the fence we had them we jumped over fell in a bush I had scars everywhere and they had actually taken up the, the lines on the field for some reason or another and um, Steve Enick, my business partner, was with me. And I was like, I don't know where the 50-yard line is. And he said, Deidre, you know, for God's sakes, just throw them up. Lewis will find the 50.